Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport. And just hours before the first Springbok team of the year has been announced, the moment we have all been waiting for, the Springbok jersey has officially been unveiled by Nike. And what do we think? That is the big question. What do we think? We're going to look at the jersey. We'll have a bit of a look and see what we have uh, to look forward to. Um, both our away kit and our home kit has been revealed. A very strange, very different um, away kit uh, and be interesting to see what the reaction is and um, so without any further ado before we do actually look at the jersey please do smash like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well there it is that is our home kit i like it actually i really really like it i think that um a couple of things a couple of things let's, let's let's look at it shall we let's really have a look at it and because i mean obviously it's a jersey i mean how much can we dive into first things first we've got a collar back I think the last time we had a collar it was about 1999. We literally have not had a traditional collar for years and years and years and years and years. So the collar is officially back. A little bit of yellow trim on the, on the sleeve. That's always a nice sort of way to just sort of add a bit of um, um, sort of a subtle bit of extra yellow. The MTN logo, I mean, a lot of people don't like it. At least it's the right sort of color. So at least we don't have something completely different colored. So, you know, it kind of works with the, with the color palette. The rubber things here are a bit are, but are, but I, I quite like the stripes and the fact that it's sort of it's it sort of fades away. So I think that that's quite nice. And then we've got this very sort of interesting sort of, um, so I suppose African inspired sort of pattern, which seems to be on the inside, slightly there on the collar there, um, as well as on the bottom over there. So for me, that's two thumbs up. I think that's a very nice jersey, to be honest. Um, this is where it gets interesting. This is the away kit. It's different, isn't it? It's very very different first of all no collar um obviously white is which is always sort of going to be an, an, on the white sort of spectrum but the white and blue is interesting because we've had a lot of training uh stuff which has come out in this blue and um yeah i almost like it i almost like it the 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 blue is a bit of a different thing but um yeah, but let's let's read the the, the press release, shall we? Which uh, sort of talks about how this uh, these two jerseys were inspired. So I'm going to make it slightly smaller there. I'm going to bring up the the home jersey, so that we can look at both of them and and how they were how they came about. Um, apparently, so there we go. There are two jerseys. Right, this is what Nike had to say. Um, the Springbok jersey um, finally ended on Tuesday with the Springbok Newcastle. Lager Rugby Championship jersey was revealed. Not the World Cup jersey, by the way. This is not necessarily the World Cup jersey. The six-year partnership was announced in September, and uh, it has finally been uh, launched today. Right, so the CEO of SA Rugby, Rian Oberholz, has said, The launch of a new jersey is always exciting, but the anticipation and expectancy around today has been building for months. Uh, we are immensely proud of what Nike has provided, and the feedback from the team has been great since they were kitted with the training gear recently. The new jersey honors the traditions of the three marks in its design and construction, while adding subtle nuances to set it apart. We couldn't be happier. Uh, the jersey was apparently engineered to serve needs of the athletes, and what the three marks will experience on the field is the jersey that keeps them dry and cool, and provides reinforcement and mobility, allowing them to move with less friction. The Nike designers work closely with the team to design a kit that reflects the history of the team and South African culture. The classic green and gold jersey has been reimagined to include a traditional collar with the underside of the collar giving a nod to the South African flag. Um, as an acknowledgement of the team spirit, the phrase Stronger Forever is inscribed on the inside collar. It's a nice little touch, isn't it? Um, the bold and alternative jersey pays homage to the local culture through the patterned print and the colorway was inspired by and celebrates the hues of local nature. I'm not quite sure we have blue trees we've got around here. But uh, anyway, ventilation mesh panels in key areas of the kit also improve performance by increasing air circulation to the players' bodies and regulating their temperatures. This is all the very you know, technical stuff that we look into a uh, the jersey. Um, so uh, the Springboks Rugby World Cup jersey following the same design will be unveiled next month. Uh, so Springboks, and that, sorry, South Africa's other national teams will also wear, appear in Nike design apparel. Um, so the junior team, the women's team, etc. And uh, there'll be an assortment of lifestyle products that will serve the needs of the players or field. Um, it'll be available on Friday, the 7th of July. Nike stores and a major retailer. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. I quite like it. I really like the home jersey. I think the home jersey has been absolutely nailed. The away jersey is something a bit different. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I can grow to like it, actually. I'm interested to see what it's going to look like in person. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.